Hey guys, it's story time. I mean, nobody asked, but I'm gonna be explaining the entire Gandhi 3 timeline in one video, so yeah, maybe get a snack, and we're gonna start from the beginning. It all started in 2016. At the time, everyone in my class was literally starting a YouTube channel. Like, it, it was the trend, you know, starting a YouTube channel. And I did what every elementary school kid did, and hopped on the content creator bandwagon. And because I was an elementary school kid, I was extremely unsuccessful on YouTube. I uploaded countless videos, which all of them... Uh, yeah, I kind of deleted all of them, but they were all pretty bad, so it makes me feel less bad when I think about it. I remember making my first video. It was titled, How to Make a Minecraft Slime Rocket. It was, like, really unprofessional, but yeah, it, it was alright. I've seen worse, but anyways... I did not use my voice in that video. I literally recorded it on an app called Airshow. So at, back in the days, uh, the iPhone did not have a screen recording app or feature. So you had to download like the sketchy third party app on your phone if you wanted to screen record. Airshow actually had a mic feature. I was just too shy to use my voice. And I really didn't know how to edit a video. So I, I wanted to add like this NCS background music, right? Like this dubstep. So what I did was I basically just put my phone next to my dad's computer and then i would play the music from my dad's computer on the speakers and then the iphone mic would like pick it up and the audio was terrible because of that but needless to say the video did really bad and i uploaded a bunch of other videos like that and they also did bad but then at one point i made a tutorial called how to delete flex store so if you guys don't know what flex store is flex store is a third party app that you can get apps like airshow without having to jailbreak your phone and there was like a lot of tutorials on how to delete flex store but what made mine stand out was the other tutorials were like five minutes long they're like hey guys welcome back to another video we were we, uh, to this video will teach you how to delete flex store uh if you don't know what flex store is but my video my video literally i didn't even talk in my video i would i, I literally <laughs> i just swiped to the center thing and then just tapped on one button and flex store was gone and my video was like 30 seconds long and that's probably why it got 20,000 views and blew up so to this day I still try to make my videos in that like my tutorial videos in that same format short straight to the point not much ramble and yeah I think it works out really well so basically throughout elementary school I decided to upload more of these really low quality videos. Some of them blew up, some of them didn't. Actually most of them didn't, but after a few months I accumulated 130 subscribers. I was on top of the world. That was the that was the high point of my life. But then I decided to quit YouTube because I wasn't really getting much out of it and I decided to focus on school for a while. But then, one and a half years ago, I found another reason to make videos. So a friend of mine also had a YouTube channel, and it was doing pretty well. You may or may not know him, but the channel name, well, his channel's name is actually Brooklyn underscore Drill. The link to his channel will be in the description. He, you should subscribe. He makes really cool videos. And he's come, and he came back after a three month break. So yeah, more of a reason to subscribe. Anyways, so because of him, I started to make videos again. And uh, a lot of you guys already know this, but I'm like hyper competitive. It is literally an inside joke that I make everything into a competition. And yeah, this was the perfect opportunity to make a competition out of this. But my efforts still amounted to nothing. I actually lost seven. I actually lost seven subscribers over my three months of making more videos, and I decided to quit again because literally I was at 130, and then after three months of consistently uploading, I lost seven subscribers. Like YouTube's actually kind of dumb to, for letting that happen. But Brooklyn Drill, on the other hand, decided to keep going and making Minecraft videos. So I decided to focus on school again for a few more months. And then another event happened. Dream blew up. Dream, the Minecraft speedrunner, to be specific. So yeah, it was really cool. People made like Discord servers. They made memes about them. They made YouTube videos on them. And I was like, wow, that is really cool. I think being a YouTuber is cool. But the thing is, being a YouTuber is cool until you turn into an adult where people expect you to get an actual job. And then it's just not cool anymore to be a guy that just plays video games. Like, be, like imagine you're 40 years old and you're like, hey guys, welcome back to another Bad Wars video. And I just can't imagine myself in that position. 
But anyways, yeah, I thought it was cool, so I decided to try one last time to try making YouTube videos. And I did the exact same thing. I made low-quality content, I didn't optimize my videos, I did absolutely nothing from my pre- nothing different, and I was like, why am I not succeeding? But as I was a few years older, I quickly caught on to all of my mistakes. I made better thumbnails, I actually got a good editing software, I did higher quality renders, I did more creative videos, I uploaded more consistently, I... Uh, I just focused on one topic, and then instantly I just started doing way better. So yeah, I, I was doing way better than before. Oh yeah, remember that Brooklyn Drill guy from earlier? Yeah, he was still uploading YouTube videos actually. And I decided we're, we're gonna do the Gandhi 3 vs Brooklyn Drill round 2. I literally told no one about this competition, but in my mind it was a competition. But it wasn't like officially declared or anything, it was just something I, I just viewed. I just viewed it as a competition. So yeah, I started doing daily uploads, working as hard as I could, and I was like, I'm gonna try hard, man. Trying hard equals to success. So uh, so then, uh, like, okay, doing daily uploads while being a high school student is so hard. Like, there's so many nights where I had to stay up until like 1 to like 2 a.m. On, on a school night. After, after studying for exams, after doing all my homework, I stayed up really late just so I could get a video out by tomorrow. Actually, it's not tomorrow, on the same day, because I was going to upload it in the morning. And it was really painful at work. I was really tired. Like, I, was, I, I literally f like had to take so many naps because I was so sleepy throughout my days. And I'd say it was going really smooth until Brooklyn Drill decided to quit YouTube. Uh, yeah, he basically uploaded a montage and then just never uploaded again. And, I mean, yeah, he's back now, but at the time, it was like, I don't know, basically it was enough to make me quit. Because if you look at his, uh, it, okay, so basically he has like this three month gap, right? So the last video he uploaded was November 23rd. At, okay, a week later, I actually decided to quit YouTube because of that. Because, like, I just really had no, no reason to anymore. So yeah, at the same time, I also stopped uploading. But then, one last event probably has brought me back to YouTube permanently, and you guys are gonna believe me for this reason. So, I actually used to play a lot of Skyblock, and one time I was like in the end, right? And, uh, there's like these special types of Endermen. Um, yeah, they're called Zealots, and I was farming them. So, the thing with Zealots is there's a really rare chance that when you kill a Zealot, you get another special type of Enderman called a Special Zealot. And if you kill that Special Zealot, then you get something called a Summoning Eye. So, what that Summoning Eye is, is basically an Eye of Ender, and you can spawn an Ender Dragon. Ender Dragons are really good in Skyblock. Well, they were good, they're not that good anymore, but it, certain types of Ender Dragons can give you so many coins, and if you sell that Summoning Eye, then you can get 600,000 coins. So, essentially what happened was, there was this YouTube rank in my lobby. Like, I, I don't know why you don't- I don't know why you have to go in with your red name into Skyblock just to farm Zealous, man. Just Nick. It, it, it just being on Nick just brings unnecessary attention to yourself. So yeah, what happened was this YouTube rank guy, big YouTuber, basically got one of those special zealots. But the thing is, there there was this guy right next to him, right? Guy right next to him, just following him. He that random guy killed that YouTuber special zealot and took his summoning eye. So that YouTuber is really mad. Like, okay, I I would be mad too, but this guy was like really entitled or whatever. And yeah, he, he was like, why'd you take it? You have to give it back to me. You have to give it back to me. And this guy started like using his rank and status to try and get this guy to give it back to him and stuff. And yeah, I found it really annoying. This big YouTuber decides to use his status and sub count to try and manipulate uh, some innocent player that's done nothing wrong. Like stealing someone's I have Ender like that is completely allowed and basically tried manipulating that guy into giving it back, so... Yeah, I I'm actually happy that the whole lobby was on that guy's side. Like, not the YouTuber side, that random guy's side. And yeah, they bullied the YouTuber out of the lobby. But yeah, that was one instance that just made me upset at YouTubers like that. Another thing that YouTubers do that made me makes me or that made me upset was okay so they join a random lobby they start talking and then they just completely ignore you so okay let's here's an example let's say I'm like a really famous YouTuber I join a Bedwars lobby and I say hi guys to bring attention to myself and then everyone notices me and my red name 
Then I proceed to ignore everyone and I just follow up questions like, hey guys, did you enjoy my latest video? Hey guys, I made new merch and stuff and they just completely ignore you. And I, I, or actually in, that, in this case, it would be me because I'm just putting myself in that position. Like there was that one time where I was in a bridging lobby on like MC Play HD with Bedless Noob. I don't know why he was unnicked because like in MC Play HD you can nick yourself. And he was probably unnicked because, okay, there's three reasons why he was unnicked. One, uh, he didn't know. Two, he wanted attention. Three, he had a really good bridging time and he wanted to show everyone. So he was unnicked and I was like, okay, so recently, um, well, recently at that time, I actually bought the Glorious Model O and I actually used his promo code. So if me using his promo code actually gives him money, so I was like, hey, Bellas, I bought the Model O using your promo code. No response. I got ignored. I said it again. Ignored again. I kept trying to get this guy to notice me. There's like 10 people in chat. He's bound to notice me. And I spent a good 20 minutes and then I just left. I, I was really upset. I felt unimportant. And I know, I know, it, it's not his responsibility to respond to me. He, he doesn't have to. And I shouldn't be, I shouldn't be allowed to force him to respond to me, but... I, I, I'm just a little kid and you know being ignored by one of your favorite youtubers uh, It just makes you feel really upset and unimportant. So yeah, that's what that, that makes me feel really upset another thing that youtubers do is um, at, at the time I tried friending like these youtubers cuz Because like you, you would obviously want to be friends with your favorite youtuber. That's like everyone's dream and Yeah, but you can't because a lot of youtubers they like just disable their friend re friend friend requests and I, I tried friending like a lot of big youtubers and like uh, you cannot friend this person like you have 4,000 like uh, Hypixel gives you 4,000 spots you can you, you can obviously accept some friend requests but uh, some youtubers they just flat out just don't accept friend requests and yeah in my opinion I think youtubers like okay so there's like I, I forgot who it was but it was like Evan MC Gaming or whatever, that guy, he accepts all friend requests and, he, and he's like bigger than every YouTuber in, on the platform. Uh, so yeah, I was like, okay, that guy's really cool. Doing that is really cool. So I decided to, uh, so yeah, a lot of people don't know this, but I actually have my friends list open. I actually did it a few months ago. So if you ever want to be friends on Hypixel, then just add me while I'm on and I'll actually accept it. So anyways, all these things just made me feel just got me really annoyed at like these big YouTubers. Like, it, it's like how it's like how poor people get mad at rich people, uh, just for being rich. I, I'm I'm like the poor person in this case, so. Uh, yeah, that that's basically why I came back to YouTube. I wanted to become more important than all of them, and I know it's a really petty reason, but this is what's fueling my entire YouTube career, just being more important than everyone else. It's like a really dumb reason, but you know, I'm a really weird person, and this is what's motivating me, so I guess it's alright. <laughs> But to be honest, I'm a big hypocrite. I've ignored a lot of people simply because I just didn't feel like uh, responding. And if I've ever ignored you, just know that uh, I I'm sorry for ignoring you. I'm sometimes I just don't feel like it, and I and like I I, I just have no excuse for it. I I'm just a horrible human being. But anyways, that's basically the entire story. So to sum up my entire YouTube story, I had a good reason to start making YouTube videos, and now I'm just a monkey.